Hello everybody, thanks for checking out another WooCommerce tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce storefront theme. This is the same theme that comes default with WooCommerce right here. And don't worry, there's no coding required. So first, let's log in to your WP Admin dashboard as you can see here. The first thing I want to do is change this home page. So head over to pages and in your pages click on edit the home page. So here you can customize the home page. So this is the title. It doesn't show up on your home page, so no need to worry about that. You can edit the text here. Welcome to my minion shop or whatever you want to say customize the text however you want and to change the background just click on the background here click on this pencil icon to edit the media let's upload a new image for the background so I uploaded this image right here to be used as my background let's select and you can see the background is a little bit dark so my font is not showing up too well so let's highlight and edit the text let's change the color to let's do white and select that well it shows up a little bit better so it would be best to make sure you select a more friendly background for your text anyhow let's continue on so this is your category you can limit the category to one or two and how many columns you want so right now I have three columns and you can change the order of the category by going to the products and categories so right now we have accessories hoodies and t-shirts and in your product categories accessory hoodies and t-shirts and you can order reorder the categories like that so t-shirt shows first or you can add new categories actually I'm going to add toys as my first category and I'm going to use four columns so let's edit the toys and let's upload or add a new thumbnail and I would use that as my thumbnail for this category. Let's update. Now let's go back to edit page and limit categories to four and columns to four. You can change the handpicked item for recommendations here by just clicking on anywhere here and scrolling to where it says product. And then you can search for another product to display. Let's do this minion toy. And there it is. You, it shows up right here. So you can add more or delete. So let me delete this sunglasses one. It's shown right here under the products. And now it's deleted. And fan favorites are the top rated products on sale. Again, you can reorder them and add whatever products you want and add new categories. So that's up to you so that's how you do it and let's update let's now refresh the home page and as you can see we have our new background our category we just added this one and then recommendation products we added this one and there you go and now let's do some more theme customization let's go to appearance and customize now you can customize uh, more things more options like the header first let's go to site identity now you can upload a new logo to replace this or change the site title and tagline here and you can also add a site icon which will show up in your browser tabs bookmark bars all right let's go back 
to the header again you can change things easily background color let's go to if I set it to this purplish color that's what it looks like so you can customize it in a lot of different ways and text color link colors now footer again you can easily customize the colors and background so it will replace the whole entire background typography so these are what shows on the product pages so let's click on uh, this minion toy here and let's customize the heading so we want it purple that's what it looks like right here and you can see the changes live and text color we can make it red and there it is everything is red now so you can easily mess around with these to get your perfect store and now buttons so again you can customize the buttons as seen here and the layout if you want the sidebar to be on the left side so you can select it like that or the right side I like the right side better and the product page so I'll leave these as default so the sticky add to cart is when you scroll see as you scrolling down the product page this little bar pops up so you can easily add to cart all right let's go back and menus this is the menu here and you can customize the menu and you can create a new menu by going here let's rename this to demo menu and you can select your demo menu to display at all these places so let's start adding menu items so I can have my home um, okay so my home is already the home page so I don't need that I can have a page to my blog let's do products all products I can display a certain category like if I had a best-selling category I can add that there so let's do toys so you can see it's easy to add and delete and rearrange your menu and then you can add in some pages like the contact us page it's pretty important to have there it is your cart page okay once you're happy with your menu click back or publish if you want so as you can see the menu is added here widgets or things that goes on the sidebar and other places that that's available to have widgets and for a sidebar you can remove certain things like the meta is this right here you probably don't need that so we can easily remove it like that and archive so we can remove that as well and let's add a widget and these are all the available widgets currently so let's add a cart to the widget right here so you can see what's been added to your uh, customer cart and let's add in the product categories right here so easily accessible to the customer and a product search function to search for products and this regular search right here is for the block search and the product search is a little bit different so let's remove the regular blog search and recent post this is for the blog so this is for the blog we don't need that in our shop and as well as recent comment so let's add in products this will show the newest product order by date and let's put it near the top and product search so there are a lot of things you can customize with this sidebar and widgets so there that's how it looks like right now okay let's go back more home page settings and you can probably leave this as default unless you want to show your blog as the home page and WooCommerce so you want to alert your customer 
with a new sale or Halloween, Christmas deals or something, then you can enable this store notice here. Product catalog. So here are some uh, product catalog customizations. How you want to display your products in categories, like three products per row. So one, two, three, one, two, three, or you want four, and how many rows per page. And most likely you can just, just leave that as default. Product images, how you want your product images to be displayed. You want it cropped to a certain size and, or uncropped images. And the checkout. If you want to remove some of these fields, like company name, let's hide that. And you can have your privacy policy notice here, terms and conditions, which shows up right here, privacy policies. And additional CSS, if you know what you're doing, you can add some of that. And there's certainly more options and things you can do customize your store your shop further but it's not necessary now let's publish okay so that's how you customize your shop to your liking and obviously you want to make sure all your texts are readable with your background but anyhow I hope this tutorial helped if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment below this video Please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more WooCommerce tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again and until next time, happy selling!